This playthrough is rated T for teen. Hey, Lisa, you got some explaining to do. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Front Mission 2 Remake. In the last episode, the Ven was let go by Joyce for because Lyra wanted him to. What a simp. Anyway, he was uh, he got away, so we tried to chase after him because Sarah Bash told us to. And we found a... Well, we didn't find him, but we found a group of revolutionaries to feed them. But we didn't do it without the help of Lisa and crew who popped up out of nowhere like a gosh darn jack-in-the-box. And now we're all together. So let's see what this whole information thing is all about. So let's uh, uh, let's see what Sarah Bash has to say. I'm busy right now. Come back later if you want to talk. By the way, good job with the recon. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, let's let's see what Lisa's thing is all up. How's General Cheng Jang? Dot, dot, dot. Judging from that response, I'm guessing you haven't found the system yet. What are you talking about? What system? The OCU army is trying very hard to keep it secret. It controls unmanned weapons. Uh, I came to Aladesh to find it and expose it to the world. <laughs> and will it actually be able to do anything? What do you mean, Thomas? Well, if it's wireless, then it's vulnerable to electromagnetic interference. It might have been useful when jammers had very limited ranges, but now we have military satellites that can block radio waves up to a thousand kilometers away. That would make unmanned weapons completely useless. And tell them, Lisa. Tell them about its other capabilities. Is there something we should know? Would you like me to tell them? No, I'll do it. The system's ability to control unmanned units does make it dangerous, but there's more to it than that. Hmm? What do you mean? The system only reaches its full potential when mounted on a satellite. If you send a satellite in with this system into uh, on it into orbit, the system will take control of every satellite within range. And not only OCU satellites, it can hack into any satellite from any nation. Those satellites can then be used as, a, as unmanned weapons. Is that how Skynet took over? Weapons that can attack targets on the ground. That's what the system, I mean, that's what Fenrir is really capable of. Why is it called Fenrir, though? Fenrir. Uh, Griff? What, what do you mean? So it can take control of things like nuclear missiles, jammers, surveillance equipment, and anything equipped on a military satellite. Reminds me of the quote, Control of space means control of the world. Eh, sort of true, I guess. Of course, it would be a disaster if other nations found out what this system is capable of. After all, it wouldn't do good to be condemned by all foreign powers. Da, da, da. Lisa, we may want it for different reasons, but we're both looking for the same thing. That's why I'd like to ask for your help. Enough, we would never work for CIU. Promise me that you won't stop me from destroying it after we find it. Okay, I promise. Well, that was quick. I just want to take a picture of it first. Alright, I'll think about it. It's Lisa! There's one thing I don't get. Why would the OCU move something so important to dish? Yeah. There's nowhere to hide something like that on the Rimian base. I don't know what the OCUs was thinking, but it can't be a coincidence. Dot dot dot. Hmm. Interesting. Father's working in the underground warehouse. Yeah, we talked to him earlier, so... What they were talking about? I don't think it's any of our business. Yeah, we found Griff, so we should start thinking about getting out of our dish. Well, let's head over to the bar, then. I think it's... Uh, I think it's we celebrate our reunion with Griff. Ah, proofreading. It's a lost art. Yeah, let's do that. Dot, dot, dot. What is it, Griff? You don't look so good. I'm just a little tired. Don't worry about me. Yeah, sure. Sure don't have anything to say, Sarabash? No, I didn't actually have anything to say. So. Okay, well, anyway, let's go to the bar and get drunk. Here's to see you again, Griff. Cheers. Finally, we can say goodbye to this country. Yeah, Mia's been wanting to go out here since day one. Of, oh, she was so close to retirement. Oh, wait, she didn't retire just when the whole war thing. She just wanted to get out of here. You seem pretty happy about that. Well, I am. You and Ash dragged me to come back for your selfish reasons. Selfish? what I do? Did you think I didn't notice? You're obviously in love with Lyra. What are you talking about, Mia? Well, the way you look at her was different. What a piece of work. Wait, are you talking about Lyra or Amiya? I'm the one you should be mad at, Amiya. I'm really sorry. Oh, it's fine. It's just we, how we live our lives, I guess. Hey, Griff, what's wrong? You feeling sick? Yeah. You've been like this since we talked with Lisa. Does that have anything to do with her? I'm sorry, Ash. I, I, I know well. I, I think I know where Fenrir is. What the? I stayed in Elrodesh because I was worried about you guys, but that's not the only reason. To be perfectly honest, I've been smuggling weapons from the army. Now oh, we got our own Berg Samity here, huh? Dot dot dot. It's only for the money! I doubt I'll ever advance to a higher rank, but I can't bring myself to leave the army either. Come on, boys. Griff. I have wife and kids. I want to provide for them. Well, we know that's true. You bastard! Ash was worried sick about you! Ash was... 
Joyce, enough. Does it bother you? Yeah, it does. But I'm not going to hold it against them. Like Amiya said, that's just how we live our lives. Jeez, you're gullible. Is that really gullible to do that? I don't know. Forgiving, maybe, but we should tell Pike about this. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm ready to talk now. Thank you, Ash. Well, let's see if anyone else has anything to say. I don't think so. I think everyone has the same dialogue. Yeah. I think the only one's different is Jim here. Hey, brother. I have the address for the UCS Fire Valley Network. What do you think? You want it? Sure. If you're going to be free, there you go. Oh, right. You still need the password. I'll sell it to you for 500 What do you say? You buy it for 500 I got plenty of money. I can buy it now. That's the spirit, brother. You know what's up. Let me know if you need anything else. All right. Well, the network for that. Let's show that off really quick. Uh, Fire Valley. Faith. All right. Let's see what it is. It's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, Faith Fire Valley stuff, Cong the Congress machine gun, Dumb Pierce cannon, and the, um, machine-wise, the Vigor M1. We launched the Vigor in 2097 as, as our first entry into the Vonzer market. The shape was chosen in order to comply with the Mulps P standard while simultaneously allowing the, allowing the Vigor, or Vigor, I guess in this case, to handle anti-defense missions, something that had previously not been considered for Vonzers. As an additional feature, the leg parts are equipped with a spare cockpit that can be accommodate up to two people, allowing for separate control of the pilot and firing systems. Ooh. So, yeah. A little extra thing there. Not required, but hey. And there's no extra stuff for um, the uh, DNC stuff yet. You have to wait till the next day, so we're still on the June 18th right now so even though it's june 19th so we have to wait for some time to pass before we can check the network again so for that uh, other than that there's nothing new on the network we can really check i mean there is stuff we can check but uh i'm gonna wait to do that later so all right let's go tell uh tell them about the situation so you knew so you knew about fenby yeah? are you working with lisa even no I'm compl not completely certain it's hard to believe that something like that would get mixed up with other sworn goods why didn't you say anything earlier or why didn't you say anything earlier before hearing Lisa talk about it, I just thought it was worth a lot of money. The equivalent of under war machines, huh? That's crazy. We're at the other store and item store it. At the training ground near Remy base. Right where we were at the beginning of the game. Jeez, we were so close this whole time. Griff, will you take us there? Griff, will you take us there? Of course, I'm the one who started this whole thing after all. Well, I guess by smuggling in the Fenrir system to... I guess that's uh, that's the explanation I can give. Uh, we're going with you. And count on us as well. Whoa, what a curious turn of events. I mean, I really don't care what Lisa's looking for. That stash of smuggled weapons in the right hand. That's just one thing, Thomas. Before we leave, we should ask Sarah Bash for approval. Yeah, let's do that. I guess we're still technically on his payroll, so. Alright. So you leaving? Don't be stupid! The Revolution Army is just outside of town! That's only for a little while. We'll be back soon. Anyway, how are you planning to get to the Rimian base from here? Well, just straightforward, right? Just like we always did. Look, if you use normal mode, you have to pass by Dean Air Force Base in the capital. Okay, I mean, that sounds like a plan. And? You'd be walking straight into Vince territory. On the other hand, if you go by sea... Well, I don't know about that. I can get seasick. It's going to be too far. The ship will be too easy to spot. So, we'll use the Underground Railroad. What? <laughs> huh? How do you know about that? I helped smuggle weapons from the OCU to your group, you know. One of our your people told me about the secret railroad running from here to the capital. I don't think a railroad can be secret, right? Because, you know, it takes a lot to build an actual railroad. I know the Underground Railroad, but that's different from this. If you use that route, you're certain to get, you'll certainly get past Dean quickly, but the last station is smack in the middle of the capital. What will happen when the Revolution Army spots you there? A fight, like always. We'll manage. But we absolutely have to go there. We can't let Vent get his hands on Fenrir. Dot, dot, dot. Well, who let them who let him go, huh? Anyway. Hey, Dumbass, are you sure you want to change your mind? You know, the same is Sire Bash. No offense, but I'll make more money that way. And don't worry, the Revolutionary Army won't approach Borneo if we created their distraction in the capital. You think so? Well, probably. Prick. <laughs> I don't know why just him suddenly saying prick is really funny. Okay. But yeah, so, and then we can now go on the subway, but before that, obviously, we need to go to uh, the warehouse to set up shop, so let's go and do that real quick. Um, I kind of explained last episode how to build your guys, but we'll do it again here. Hello there. What do you have to say? Seems like they're recruiting soldiers from the arena pilots. I'm glad I chose to be a bar manager. Except you're not a bar manager, you're a warehouse worker. What? Yeah, I think there's a weird translation issue, maybe, or something. 
<sighs> like I said, this game could use some work. Anyway. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Alright, so I explained in the last episode, but we'll do it again, just for those who want to pay attention. Uh, the groups, the three groups you build are Short Fighters, which is a Ashami and Sayuri, Long Range, which is Lisa Joyce, Roswell, and Pike, and finally Fighter Types, which is Thomas, Rocky, Griff, Cordy, and Malin. Uh, Ash will need to be built with, oh yeah, we got four new parts now. We got Type 102As, Zebu T4Ss, TDMA3s, and Zora C9s. Uh, tediums and Zora as tediums are anti-piercing Zoras are anti-fire and type 102s and T4s are normal stuff um, you want to put your best characters in Zora C9s same with arms although on the arms if you want to go for interesting machine guns you could go with tedium arms but I'm gonna go Zora arms and the legs wise we got uh, we got some tre uh, treads and uh, the Zoras where we're going we don't need treads though so yeah, not, not going to work out too well for movement, so go ahead and go, go with bipedal there. I mean, if you want a little bit better movement, I guess, but it really depends on where you're at. So we're just going to go with Zora legs, though, on, on Ash there. Weapon-wise, if you don't if you haven't done any arena grinding for, for uh, higher level weapons, now I go with Chronics on both arms. I just prefer machine guns. They just have the most bullets and more opportunities to hit. I think they have a, even have a better hit percentage than shotguns, which is weird, because shotguns are supposed to be close quarters you know spread bullets so but whatever and flamethrowers just don't uh just i don't know i just don't like the way flamethrowers are set up but uh, i think it's usually they're weaker too if i remember correctly yeah look at that it's weaker heavier uh but anyway so all right shoulder wise give yourself a new uh shield with the spo2 ends they're a little bit better defense and i think they're nor normal yeah normal shields backpack wise we got new uh AG 1000 C's backpack gives you a little bit more energy for uh, mo more mobility, so higher movement, stuff like that. So, so buy that. Um, I'll go over other types of weapons if you've been doing arena stuff right now, but that's what I would want to do for Ash. So, all right, Joyce, Joyce and the long range users, give them go with the uh, Tedium A3 bodies, and then go with uh, uh, C Zebu arms. And the reason I do this is for weight distribution. Uh, and Zebu legs as well and then for weapon wise for the hand keep them on the top tip for some extra extra damage uh, on the other hand obviously it was alone for the shoulder I'd go with the wit horn grenade launcher if you don't have anything better although with the with the way I build long-range users they're close on weight already so even if you get better grenade launchers from the arena you, they might not be able to fit it anyway but anyway wit horn on one shoulder and then Go ahead and give yourself some missiles on the others. We're going to be using those for a little extra damage and to pull enemies out. And then, uh, oh yeah, I guess I could, should go over weapons that we can buy currently. Chronic Machine Guns, Alchemy Rifle, the Sin Libra Shotgun, the Warmer F2 Flamethrower, the Bosch Bazooka, the Double Blade Knuckles, and hammer, Mad Hammer Rods. So, shoulder-wise, we got the Whithorn Grenade Launcher, Pulver and 4 Missiles, Finch Rockets, Savory Go Cannons, M. Kali 2 AA Missiles, Air Wild RAA Rockets, and SPO2 and shields. There's no reason to buy AA rockets right now because there's no air force we have to deal with. So they're very specific for what it is. Um, anyway, we also got new backpacks. We now have I five item backpacks. So now we can finally upgrade our backpacks. It's actually worth it now to do this. Um, and computer wise, is the computers are the same uh, from before. So, you know, Quantico's for basically everyone except for long range users. Long range users get holism at level four. Um, item wise, I would go with a couple restores. After that, it kind of depends on how you want to build your characters. Usually, I give just ammo for your long range guys because they hardly get any ammo in the first place. Because, like, the rock, we'll see the missiles get three shots, the grenades get like two shots, and the tom tit gets like three shots, I think. Or, no, I think the missile we currently have is only two shots, so they run out of ammo so fast. That's usually why I give them ammo for that. But you might consider maybe. Going with a couple of grenades if we're going to try it for long range grinding. Although the, this battle coming up is probably not the best for long range grinding, so I probably wouldn't do that too much, but that's up to you. Um, I would go with cannon. I would go with cannon ammo, grenade ammo, and missile ammo, to tell you the truth on, on those for for those purposes. But it just depends. It also depends on what difficulty you're playing on, too. So, but anyway. Um, you also might consider giving a fighter character uh, an iron backpack and putting maybe a couple machine guns on it as well, maybe. Although you probably won't run out of the, out of the ammo, but I will probably just because I want Ash to get more more uh, honor points because I'm going to try to get him uh, surrender call here pretty soon because in 
two battles from now, we'll find another character that can get surrendered for an item. And I want to see if I can get the last uh, uh, 50 honor kills for Ash by that point. So it might require, he won't, he'll kill quite a few people, which means his levels will probably skyrocket a bit. But I want to get that surrender call because there's quite a few enemies you can surrender in the game to get items from at this point so we had to kind of consider that i should have done it earlier in the game but like i said being on the higher difficulties you kind of it's kind of hard to uh uh go with that but anyway all right so that's it for the long range users for strong users parts wise put them in zoras because that's the best armor you can get overall and then yeah weapon wise put them with the spo2s backpack put them on the the 1000 ag and then for weapon wise you have a couple options you can either go with mad hammer or double blade mad hammer has a slightly better to hit but it has a higher weight so it depends on what your weight is at currently it might it could drop you i mean if you do exactly what i'm doing you're going to have enough mobility so you can afford to man hammer you might even do uh two different weapons on two different hands if you want to um just to get a little extra punch because if you do you'll still have your mobility your movement of nine um with this build which is where we're this is why we're keeping it as is so that way i mean you could do two mad hammers i guess but i think it goes yeah it goes a little under the movement so this is just to have a couple of different weapons like if your hand gets blown off you can have a, a decent punching weapon outside of your just regular fist um yeah i mainly do it to keep my movement as high as i can but uh i might have some slight differences after this but that's the gist of what i want to do so um also for those who are doing arena stuff, depending on your levels, you might be able to get in game, start getting in game stuff here pretty soon. So Ash, Ash actually is close enough to get in game stuff. So um, as is, if he fights um, this character, this group specifically, I've got highlighted Bobby. She's part of a group called um, she's called she's from group Blitz Crab, which is twenty, uh, which is twenty one and higher. Uh, anybody we can run across the thing is her weapon pool is pretty low to get um, items so if you uh, beat her three times in standard combat you'll get pool uh, item number one if you fight her eight times you get pool number two and if you fight her three or 14 times you get pool number 13 uh, three and uh, pool number one at ash's current level will get him the uh, let's see we'll get him the clavier machine gun which is a higher higher like level weapon that he can access right now which can do quite a bit of damage uh and that would be a nice upgrade to the next level that will give you advantage of combat however if i end up defeating bobby again with the claviers equipped it'll it'll actually give him just enough of a rate increase to um i think increases his rate to like 255 or something higher than that it puts him in the next actually bracket of levels uh, to get a new weapon. So if you beat her with claviers after that, you'll get access to the type 95 machine gun Which is the next which is the best machine gun you can get via the arena. It's not the best machine gun in the game It's the best you can get from the arena which will Which will gradually which will grossly improve your combat capabilities for quite a while. It'll reduce your Movement to seven though if you quit both uh, uh, one on both arms but I think it's totally worth it with the damage that you can get from them. You'll start wrecking enemies, which is what I'm going to do with Ash. But if you don't have that, it's not going to break the game. Uh, but yeah, and then if I equip the two Type 95 machine guns, I can get the final bracket of weapons. Which, unfortunately, there's no machine guns on this bracket. There is a machine gun, though. You could go best sh machine gun in the game. Or, sorry, machine gun. Best shotgun in the game, the COVID shotgun. You can get that from her by beating her eight times multiple times you can give that to all your short characters if you want to do that but i prefer even with shotgun being as powerful as it is i prefer the machine gun still weirdly enough but that's a way to get the best short weapons in the game early on if you actually could have gotten to the beginning of the game if you get some secrets early on but i didn't want to show that off you can also get the best uh, missiles and best rockets but it's kind of hard to do at this point because ash just does not have the equipment so it's doing it required a bunch of reloads and it wasn't effective enough to to tell people to do it i would say go as far as maybe get the type 95s and then i would stop there because your equipment will be too weak to continue on without a lot of random rng working in your favor it was pretty frustrating to do that but uh that's up to you we could also get some pretty good hot uh, grenade launchers and you could probably get a grenade launcher the next step for it the bar horn and that probably be just enough weight to um to be able to equip it to your uh uh long range users to uh do that but i've actually already done that off screen so 
All right, let's go back here, and that'll set me up to my current builds. So, all right, let's head on to the network, though. I had no idea our dash had any railroads. It was left behind by the OCU. It was built to supply the capital with raw materials and wood in Borneo. But there are many rivers, and the ground is soft. So they abandoned the railroad as soon as the roads were done. All right. Oh, yeah, I, forgot. I, I guess I should go over really quick what the other weapon pool options are. So, uh... Paul, his thing is he, you can get, uh, if you're the same level as I am, you're probably not going to be, but um, you can be him three times to get pool item number six. And then you man or merrily here, you could get her, beat her four times, and you could get pool item number seven. And that depends on what your total rate is here. Um, the other characters, the only other character is, well, actually, only Bobby, Paul, and Manly of this specific, or merrily of this group, drop anything. Uh, but Really, the only other items are merely through team battle beats, but the thing is, this game is bugged, so even if you're at a really good hit rate, because you have to beat the group on 4-on-4 four on four instead of 5v5, it gives you a weaker weapon. I think it's because it's bugged, uh, because every time I do 5v5 and I can lock a weapon, the game stop, won't finish. It won't finish the arena battle, and I have to give up, and it doesn't count as a win. So it's pretty bugged. I, I, that's why I'm not suggesting team battles, at least maybe... Maybe this guide might work later on when they actually fix the game, but for now it's bugged to do team combat. It's not worth it. So, but anyway, sorry about that. So, uh, uh, all right, now we can go the subway. Let's go to Daka. Are you guys ready? No. All right, let's go. Oh, well, okay, no. Sorry, I meant to say no, but I said yes by accident. So. Mainland, how does Vin know that Fenrir is somewhere in the dish? I'm not sure. However, it's highly likely that he heard about it from Inter Garen. I see. Why is there actually combat music while riding the train? It's not like we're gonna get attacked on the train. No, that was in Front Mission 3. I'm sorry, it's come to this. This is the fifth time since you boarded the train. Stop apologizing already. Well, but I have been a traitor to my own homeland this whole time. And I almost did again. Maybe now's the time to make a change. You're still thinking about that thing four years ago? Da da da. What is that thing four years ago? Even the uh, even the info we found on the web didn't really explain it. Well, we'll be there soon. Get ready. And actually, interesting enough, the game actually gives you one more chance to uh, save if you need to. This is as far as I go. From now on, you're on your own. Well, you're not a very good pilot anyway, so so got it. All right, so yeah, one last thing. I hope to see you back at One Piece. Uh, no, we're not going to get the One Piece. They'll never find it. Never. But anyway, let's do it. Let, all right, let's head up to the surface. No, we should go before the Revolution Army discovers us. Anyway, yeah, let's do it. Be careful. Thanks. Jeez, no need to worry. We'll be back in no time. I hope so. Alright, here we are. In the ruins of the city after it got bombed. Carpet bombed to heck. The operation blew the crap out of your house. So this is where we ended up. The revolutionary army is everywhere. Sneaking out of here will not be easy. We should go through downtown and get out of the city. That's so far. There won't be many of them downtown. If we get rid of the units here, then we won't be followed. I really don't like this, but we have no choice. Got, uh, we got no choice, I guess. <laughs> don't say that. We can defeat the leader. The rest should be a piece of cake. All right. So this battle is a little interesting, mainly because there's like a weird, weird hidden mechanic behind the battle. Well, it's not a major mechanic. It's just something that can happen during the battle, which is really odd. But anyway. Uh, okay, so we want to split up into two groups, otherwise this battle will take forever. So let's put Roswell, Thomas. Actually, it doesn't really matter the exact placement. I'm just... I have a weird method to my madness, even though it doesn't really affect anything here. So... Alright, so this will be group group one, and then the other group will be uh, everyone else. So, uh, so Rocky, Pike, uh, Mia, uh, Malin, Sayuri, and Lisa. So we want to split up our groups for this because of all the enemies here. Where did he cra crawl from? Those rats? Well, my duty is to protect this place. I'll handle them. Will you? Or will you stand there for quite a while? Okay. So we got quite a few enemies here. But yeah, the main objective is the boss. We can beat the boss at the game ends. So we, or the game ends. The battle ends. So we want to beat him last. Okay. So this battle has a lot of geo spots here. As you can see here, we're hitting in the 40s now. I think there's a couple of 50s around here somewhere because of all the destruction. Now you think I'd, you'd avo everyone would avoid a lot of attacks, but because I'm sergeant mode, I'll still probably get hit despite having high geo. Either that or the geo isn't fixed properly in this game, I'm not sure. 
at least in this version of the game. But in the original game, this was a really hard place to get hits because of uh, all of this protection everywhere. So try to take advantage of that. But anyway, we got quite a few units here, so let's go over them. All right, we got, uh, I think it's six of these guys, the fighter Tataos. They are, yeah, there's, uh, they're in Tatao armor. They're level 11. They got 14 of their fight stat. They got fire tusk. Uh, knuckles, which are really nasty, and they got SPO2 and shields on both arms, and power backpacks. These guys can probably destroy an arm if you're not careful, so you want to try and weaken them and then go in with maybe a machine gunner. But yeah, I think there's like one, two, I think. No, I guess it must be four. Never mind. I thought there was like more than that, but anyway, the other two are over here. So, but anyway, we also got quite a few uh, fighter here, uh, fighters here. Except this guy's a fighter, yet he carries short weapons. Okay, whatever. Anyway, Zora C9, he's level uh, he's level 11, he's got 7 to short stat, he's got a Chronic Machine Gun, single lever Shotgun, and SPO2 and Shield. Uh, and then we've got a, a attacker over here, he's also a Zora C, he's level 11, he's got 14 to short stat, he's got a Chronic Machine Gun, and single lever shot, uh, sorry, Chronic Machine Gun, single lever sh Shotgun, and the Shield. Um, some of the other guys, I think it's on the other group over here, the same group, but they have uh, different weapons, I think. Uh, yeah, this guy's got a warmer instead. A flamethrower, so. Yeah, this guy's the same as... Oh, this guy's got a, uh... No, this is a shotgun. Yep, yeah, okay. Anyway, yeah, there's that. And then we got a couple of gunners in the area. I think there's four of them. But anyway, these gunners here are in TDMA 3s. They're level 13. They got 8 in their short stat, 16 in their long stat. They got critical level 1. And they got the Rentit missiles. Uh, which ha oh, don't have much ammo, so as soon as you block them or avoid them, they won't. They'll be pretty much just sitting ducks because they don't have any short weapons to defend themselves with. We also got a uh, radar vehicle here. Uh, it is level 11, and it's uh, its stats really don't matter because uh, it only uses radar. So you want to destroy that so you don't get hit as often. And then we also got a couple of mobile weapons over here, as you can see with this guy. Uh, it's got an OSV 12D. There's three of these guys, I believe. Uh, they're level 13, and he's got eight in a short stat, 16 in his long stat. He's got critical level one. He's got 130 millimeter cannons, VMS-4 missiles, and 20 MMACs. And then we got the other group over here. Quickly, quickly now. All right, it's got a couple of uh, attackers here. They got warmers, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, warmer, warmer. Okay, and then we got a. Gunner and an OC 300 uh, MT. Uh, it's level 13. It's got eight in a short stat and 16 in a long stat. He's got a uh, critical level one. He's got 5.5 millimeter machine gun and radar equipment on him. Uh, this guy has an A3382 or AS10A. He's uh, 13th level. He's got eight in a short stat, 16 in a long stat. He's got the critical uh, ability and he's got 20 millimeter ACs on him. And then we've got a driver and a TC350. Wait, uh, he's got nothing on him, but he is level 10. A, couple, a way to basically get some free experience as well as a couple of honor points from him. Uh, and then another gunner here with the and the mobile weapon. I think it's the exact same build. Yeah. All right. And then over at the boss, we got a couple of tanks here. These are uh, BT 77 N3 A2s. They're level 13. They got eight in their short stat, 16 in the long stat. They got the critical level one, and they got 75 millimeter cannons and 100 millimeter cannons. Another couple of. Uh, Attackers here, except this attacker is like all the others. This guy, though, is a veteran, which means he is level 17 and everything. He's got critical, best position, faint, and first. He's got the Heat Rat S Flamer and the Chronic Machine Gun and the SPO2 and Shields. And then we've got a healer here and a, a repairman, an ISP 100A. He's level 10. He's got 12 in short stat. And he's got an FL43 uh, Flamer in his hand and ISP 100A shields on both shoulders. And finally, the boss himself. Uh, in a mobile weapon, he's level 16. He's got 18 in short stats, 16 in long stats. He's got critical, arm first, target, and surprise. Uh, so the weird thing about this battle, depending on how you move things, you might target the commander. But it's I don't actually know what causes him to do that. Sometimes I'll move on a square and he'll activate. And then if I move that square on a completely different turn, he will not notice me or, or charge after me. It is really, really weird. I don't get it. I, I seriously don't get the, game, uh, the battle mechanic here. So, if someone knows that, please let me know. I think it's a bug. I think there's supposed to be, maybe he randomly chooses squares that you're supposed to know about. And, uh, and you're supposed to move people around accordingly. But, let me get you out of the way for now. Or at least put you in a protective spot. 
Okay, yeah, we got multiple groups here, and we basically just need to split them up. It'll make it a lot easier if I, if we do that. So, uh. but yeah, I kind of want to have Ash be in the lead, so I can start getting honor kills uh, for um, Tedlock's surrender call. Okay, we'll leave you guys there. But yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna split people up in the because we got so many people now. We got like 11 crew members here, so. The only problem with the, the only problem with this uh, this group is uh, just uh, just they move into good geo positions. Unfortunately, that's because this whole area is high geo positions. Now the way to pull these guys is to actually hit them with missiles, and it'll actually pull them toward you. So you have to be careful if you get too close, and you'll pull everyone. So okay, so let's save the battle again. So we want to pull uh, and. I think they, I think they move one more time. Let me see. I think they've got one more set of movements in them. And they'll stay there unless you actively antagonize them. So, or if you get too close, they usually you'll shoot a missile at them and pull them in. So that's how you're supposed to do it: pull them out with the missile. But like I said, depending on where you move, sometimes the commander will. Uh, um, target you i'll probably reload when that happens because what that does is everyone goes after you after that and i'm not quite prepared to do that so okay let's uh yeah we'll probably we'll get targeted by uh by that guy for sure but let's go ahead and pull him out uh, not bad and then we'll go ahead and uh, pull you too or not Nope, I'm not taking that. <laughs> Sorry, game. That was, the first shot was good, but then the second shot missed, so, you know. Alright, let's try that again. Okay, he hit, sure. That's fine. Because we're trying to pull targets anyway, so. Alright, let's try that. Let's save and see if I can hit with the missiles on that guy. There we go. Sorry, I'm not, I, I mean, I'm still, I still have tricks to get experience, but I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? Okay, let's see. Yeah, move closer. I want to. I want to go after that guy. And then, yeah, I want Thomas. Go in, I think. Okay. All right, we got you guys. Now we need to get move you guys into position. All right. Now, fortunately, him moving there is going to be a pretty big uh, protection. But uh, yeah, the only problem is he stands on a 40 spot here, though. Save it here. We'll just go ahead and hit him with the. Yeah, I'm trying to think about I want I want least to get hit or not. Probably not. Um, and then let's see. Uh, nope. And let's see. I guess I'm not close enough to. What's your movement range? be able to hit hit me on that turn okay i'll move a couple of characters up just to prepare to uh attack that guy so let's get it. yeah i can definitely hit him there but i'm not not really prepared to move him yet so we'll, we'll keep him there so Okay, I think that'll work. Yeah, I knew he was gonna I knew he was gonna hit him, so Hey he dodged actually, I'm surprised. Oh, one hit, I'll, I can take that. I got a couple restores anyway, so. And let's see. Let's see if we can block it. Nice. Yeah, that's a pretty good turn actually. Oh, you guys have decided to move, huh? Wait, did she get panicked? You better, better not. Oh, she got panicked. Well, it's not that bad that I need to redo it, so. Okay. Yeah, let's have, uh, let's have Tom, uh, Ash take care of this guy. Look at that damage. Holy crap. 
This is the power of the new machine gun, by the way. Woo, boy. And we get the escape ability. Okay. Uh, yeah, escape allows you to basically dodge out of combat. Um, but uh, but the enemy has to attack first. It's one of those kind of save your butt type of abilities. But okay. Shit, who are these guys? Anyway, we got a stage information for the next battle uh, already ready to go. So, okay. And uh, we'll save our missiles for this group over here. Uh, okay. Let me go. Actually, that was a pretty good. That was pretty good him finishing him off. So let's uh, get Thomas in there with a press stake. Booyah. Okay. And um, I could have uh, just. Let's have Cordy and Griff go over here, even though I'm trying to give Ash the experience too, but I'll get them set up and ready to go. Okay. And let's see. I could push you guys back to try and get a good position of protection. Let's see. 40. Because this isn't a very good position for um, her. Because, well, and he's like right there, so I'm surprised she dodged the attack she did, so. Let's, uh. Let's have her go over here. Watch all Wayland go and protect him. Okay. And let's have. Ah, great. Awesome. I have to reload now. Because he bought those attacks. Now, where are we? I really gotta start attacking people before I do anything else. That way, if, if they block, I, have, I can... <laughs> Let me get the all or nothing skill. I'm just trying to think of a one who... All or nothing is, yeah, basically, either all, all things hit or all things miss. And, uh, nah, I need to... I mean, I know I can do the grenade thing to get all my experience back, but I... Really want to just not have to. It's just gonna be one of those games days, folks. It's already hard enough to get experience for my long range users, let alone having to, you know. Well, now, now I'm not even getting it. Hmm. I could, I could always swap out to a different thing instead and some grenades. Yeah, I was doing fine before, and then I should have taken the first hit. I really should have. I was just like, oh no, I could, I could probably hit both times. Better than nothing, I guess. Okay. Well, anyway, yeah, we get all or nothing. Okay. Yeah, we're going. I'm going to save that. Okay. There, yeah, let's get. Uh, so he's probably going to go over. Uh, probably better to. Yeah, move that. Guys in position here. Just protect him. There, is he close enough to hit him with the missile? Yeah, he is. So we could we could start pulling this guy over here. So let me go ahead and save it, and we'll use a missile to get him over here. Okay. I mainly did that just because I, I actually got the hit. I saved it just because I got the hit, so. Alright. Mm. There we go. Cool. Love it. Love it. Want some more of it. And. Uh, oh, hit the other guy, too. I mean, might as well. Yeah, I'll take the hit. I need to reload my missiles anyway, so. Block it. Or not. Whatever. That's cool. Evade. 50%? Yes. That actually works. Oh, that guy's not coming towards me. Huh. Okay. That's. Uh, oh. Right. I did, forgot the guy had so much movement. Ow. I keep going after her. I was about to say with 40%, one of them probably should miss. So. Um. Well, block's not really going to do much, so... Ow! Take him out! Boom! 
Anyway, we got Stun Punch for that. Ooh, that's a pretty good ability. Uh, allows you to stun someone, which basically just takes them out for a while. Similar to any ability. Um, get rid of level damage. Although it is a 30%, so it probably won't happen very often, but... Yeah, we're already doing pretty good, so... Okay. So that wasn't a bad turn, so we'll go ahead and save it. Yeah, hopefully with my new builds, I won't have to worry about reloading all the time, so... Well, unless I get, unless I don't get like multiple activations, and then I'm, uh, and then I'm, go and then I'm a big sad, and then I'm like, give me, give me the, give me the criticals, man. That the not cool. Wait. Oh, whoops. Oh wait, no, no, no. That's it. Okay, never mind. For some reason I thought I was on a different map or a different uh, thing. There we go. Ha! Bye. Booyah, and anyway, we get Shield Wall. Shield Wall could work on this group a build, but the build, really the dangerous of the machine gun is to get all your chains to activate back to back to back. That's why I have like Switch and Faint and all that, because Switch has a, if Faint activates, then it activates Switch, and then Switch will activate another Switch, stuff like that. So, uh, okay. Anyway, that was a good, uh, good turn there. I'm just, I thought the other group would be attacking us, so. Because usually if you missile them, they'll charge at you, but for some reason this guy didn't, so. Oh well. Anyway. Yeah, the reason he's missing is because he's like in a spot that uh um He's into like a was it a forty five percent protection, so yeah, and unfortunately with uh uh with fists, they already have a pretty low to hit. So Oh, I actually hit all three times. What is this nonsense? Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh have you, uh... Actually, should I just stay there to take... Because the guy will probably just hit me with missiles again, so... The reason I'm saving it also every turn is if I somehow move in the right way, they might... The boss might start charging after me. So I have to be kind of careful with that, so... Okay, let's see. Is that 45? If I can get him right there, that might be reasonable. Try that. Uh, let's see. Let's get you. Let's give a Mia some go at this. So let's uh, have Pike hit this guy with a missile if we can. Oh, are you not close enough? I was about to say you should be close enough. Oh, am I out of it? Oh, it's because he hit both times, right? The only problem with having multiple abilities as a as a uh, long range user is you might activate both at the same time, which can be slightly annoying. But at least you're not. Yeah, let's uh, yeah, let's put Rocky over, or not Rocky. Um, oh no, that's the other guy. Never mind. But, uh, Whalen, that's it. Ha. Let's have Whalen get some experience. So. Or miss, whatever. That's cool. to help. Yeah, I might just have you go. Man, no one wants to hit today. Ah, uh, maybe, actually, maybe we can get Lisa to, well, I mean, he hit, but you know what I mean. Maybe Lisa can finish him off with the Tom's hit. Ah, you, you got, no. Come on, man. Lisa got, hardly gets any experience. She's actually the weakest long range user in the game so far. Mainly just from, from luck. I feel like I could hit well, what, what, where is he at? He's in a 25%. Uh, it's really just a case of long range. You get so little experience, I really can't afford to have them. Even with that grenade cheat. Well, it's not really a cheat. Ah! Oh, if only both in the chest. Oh, we could finish him off. Come on. Give it to me. Let me have this. Actually, I could hit him with some missiles or something like that, I guess, if I want to instead to try and hit him. The... There we go. All right, give you some much needed honor, I guess. Honor isn't as important for certain characters over others, but actually, I guess we'll just stay there. Just eh. uh, missed one of them, so. Uh oh. Hey, wait, that's not fair. 
Yeah, I don't know if we knew that was gonna happen though. Uh, yeah, I'll just try to hit him. So. 1v1 punch. Hmm. Oh, right, I forgot he had weapons. I would have blocked it if I had. Whoops. That was a bad call there. Yeah, that could have been better. That one. Eh. Hmm. Don't want to take that. Actually, let's reload. Sorry about that. I I, for, I forgot that guy was uh, had guns. I would have blocked it with Griff instead of doing that. So. Oh, I didn't save it after doing that. Why would I do that? Why? Why? Why do I do this to myself, viewer viewers? Why? I should have saved it after she defeated him, because then that would have been obvious that, like, you know, you do something so hard, and then you're like, I save it now. Oh, man, I should have saved it. No. Why? Why, why would I, why would I torment myself like this? I don't even want to do it now, apparently. Why would I even consider such things? I really should have saved it. That was such a, like, a... I wouldn't say a one in a million shot, but... Well, it seems... And now it almost seems like it was a one in a million shot, you know? Mm. I'll try it one more time. If it doesn't work, then I'll just... I'll just have, like, a me or someone else finish him off. That would have given her a lot of... A lot of experience, though. All right, one more time. One more time. And then I'll have a Mia do it. Nope, the game just doesn't want to give it to me now. All right, fine. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, uh, affect the odds too much. And well, she does have cannon ammo though, so I could still just refill it. Yeah, better than nothing, I guess. Okay, fine. Oh, I mean, you can't get it. Mm. Well then, great. Well, the problem is, is I'll I'll probably take quite a bit of damage though too. So. Actually, we're missing some attacks this time. Now, of course, we missed the one attack I really wanted to hit with. And of course, we didn't actually block the attack. Eh, wasn't the best turn, but I'll, I'll just accept it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll save it now, even though that's not what I wanted. Alright, I'll try this again with uh, Lisa. Uh, okay. Oh, there's these guys, but I... Oh, it's because she's mad. Good. Urgh. All right, fine. Um, okay, let's see. Yeah, not enough for a good. Okay, let's. Uh... Mm. I don't want Griff to be. Finished off though, so. That guy can't do anything anyway anymore, so. He got a little experience. He also gets all or nothing. I usually don't like equipping that, even though even though it probably is useful. It's just you know, I like spacing out my uh, my finishers. Move 
move her back. I was about to about maybe have her help with this group, so. Alright, she gets counter shot. Yeah. That would hit my allies. It's kind of too early to start doing that, so. We'll go and use missile replacement, though. I almost want to just have you try to... Oh, so close! Just no one wants to finish him off. Alright, those avoidances are helping me out at least a little bit, so... And block it. All right. Um, he's got weapons, right? So yeah, chronic. Might be running out of missiles here pretty soon. You've only got like four missiles and that's it. You run out of stuff pretty quickly. So, all right, let's uh, save it. Okay. I guess we'll just have uh... Let's see. What if that? Uh... Now, did you guys move a bit? No, oh, that's probably not enough for grenades, though. So. Yeah, I need to move right there to hit, hit if I didn't want to actually hit my ally, so. Uh, let's see, maybe we can get some good taunt hit action here. Or not. Alright. Yeah, fighters just don't really, just aren't very good on this map because of that. Although I wouldn't be surprised if their fighters hit me all the time, though. I'd be like, hey! There we go. Alright, you get the lucky ability. Right, I need to weaken you. Of course, you're a uh, panic there, uh, Sayuri, but. Don't block, please. At least I blew up one of your arms. There's that at least. Okay. Ooh, nice. Um, I don't think you're close enough for a tom tit though, so. I could hit you with a missile to see if I get get the the uh, hit him in the head. Can't have that. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Alright, he also gets all or nothing. though. There we go. wonder if I should just go in at this point and just, just uh, charge in. Hmm. Much more miss. I might have to heal. Actually, I might have to heal, uh, heal you next turn. Who's got what? Who's left? I think we're good. So, that's it. Turn.
Now you're ready, Argus. Yeah, all the time I to go. How much ammo do you have left? You're probably out. Oh, you got one more. If I put you there, maybe I can, uh, maybe have him hit me instead. At this point, I could just have a. Uh... Oh, I accidentally finished your turn. Ah, dang it! I didn't mean to do that. No. Hmm. Now we start moving people a little bit closer and maybe they'll help. Now, one more turn. Oh, what? Ah, oh, so, okay, this is, for some reason, moving there activated him. Okay, let me reload it then. Yeah, see, I don't know what, what positions will do what. Sometimes I'll, I'll, uh, you know, I'll move someone somewhere and it's like, oh, was this, did I not save the last round? Oh, hmm, oops. All right. Huh. Actually, hold on. Maybe I should have, uh... I'll just move Siri in front of him. In front of her. And just target her, so that way. Yeah, I forgot to save it after after that one, one thing, so... Yeah, I forgot to save it after the next round because that was actually a, a solid round. So, but yeah, like sometimes the bot, the guy will just go, "Hey, I'm gonna, we're gonna charge you now." And I'm like, wait, what? So, well, how do you supposed to know which, which squares do that? It just happens sometimes. And the thing is, a, a situation will change, and then all of a sudden, I'll step on the square again at another point, and they'll be like, "Nothing will happen." So I have no clue. Actually, since that guy's... I think this guy's out of missiles, actually. Oh, he's got one more. Sorry. That's right. Last, from last episode, so... <laughs> okay, one. Great. Uh, actually, I could probably have you get hit a couple times with some missiles just to uh, weaken you a bit before... Although, you're really supposed to hit these guys probably with uh, machine gunners. Nope. I am not having you block my damage. Thank you very much. I kind of hate the fact I do that, though. That I try to mid-max uh, mid experience like that. But like I said, you only get so much. So. If I was playing the easier modes, I wouldn't even consider I wouldn't even mess with it. I almost finished them off, too. I guess I can't complain because I got. Uh, let's try to taunt hit him to, to death, maybe. Maybe we'll get lucky. But I said that last time and it didn't happen, so. Ah, what that? It was, I was. They were both chest shots, but the problem is cannons have low hits, too. So get, getting a guaranteed hit on uh, from a taunt hit user is like. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I feel like I'm just not gonna get it with this thing. He's just in a too good of a spot, so we'll just try him with a missile. See if that works. Uh, I need to move back a couple spots. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Never mind. Eh, I guess it'll work then. Okay.
Okay, I think we're gonna end the turn. Oops. I was actually kind of hoping he would go after, after uh, Joyce. Block. Well, I got pretty lucky, so I guess I can. can I won't. And we're not so hard up on this battle that I need to now need to reload every single attack now. Now that we've got a ton of dudes and we've got a bunch of restores and everything like that, it's not. I'm not completely hosed up for that, so. There we go. Alright, she gets a dead angle. Dead angle. Let's just uh, move on. Move on up to the one dude. Have to wait till next turn on you. Uh, I think Sayuri was over there, so. I gotta be really careful when uh, when I move just because of uh Yeah, I'll try to hit you with a missile again. I was actually gonna give Ash the uh, finisher for that because I wanna get his wanna get his honor honor skill up, so actually I think these guys are uh, I think he's out of ammo now. So yeah, he's just basically sitting duck, so Yeah, I'm just being careful about like activating the boss now because like I said everyone starts moving when he does that and I want to at least beat these two groups before I have everyone start moving okay yeah well, the thing is with this guy we need to make sure to surround him so he doesn't uh... yeah luckily I don't need to actually have all those abilities unlocked to uh, for that so it's just Start moving, everyone. <sighs> See, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know when that works. So I know not to step there this time, but maybe next time I could, I could step somewhere else. I don't know. Oh, whoops! I actually wasn't reloading it for, for getting more machine gun things, you know. All right, get all or nothing. Now that can be good, depending on what it is. But the thing is with machine guns, I'm already hitting most of the time with my shots because of my level. So that's another reason why I use machine guns. So there we go. I right, got fight up and we got lucky. What is your honor level at right now? Like 90 something? 102. So I need 38 more honor to get um, Ash a surrender call. Like I said, it's not the next battle, but it's the battle afterwards that has uh, another uh, possible computer. I missed the first one, but the thing is, that one isn't so rare that I'm like, oh man, I wish I gotten that the first time. You know, it's it's just one of those types of situations. So, oh, come on, oh come on! I know you're in a 45 percent. Really? Okay. I know he's in a 45% protection. It, just, it still annoys me when I miss with attacks. That's all. Okay, well then I'll move over here. I'm surprised I hit with that. What? Oh, okay. All of them do that? Huh. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess I can't move there then. I guess I'll have Waylon do that. That's kind of annoying, actually. How about here? Yeah, I don't know, folks. Like I said, I don't know what what distinguishes a activating the boss type of type of function. So, okay, I guess we'll just leave it. Maybe go the other way. Oh, yeah, see, so we're just gonna go this way. Uh, what? 
See, I don't know. I really don't know what what distinguishes that. I'm not ready to fight all you guys yet. That's why I'm uh, that's why I'm reloading every time I do that. Here? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe it has to be a spot that has really low uh, um, geo protection. Maybe, maybe they see you if it's under a certain amount. Maybe that's it. But no, I moved here, wasn't it? Okay, let's try forty percent. Nope, doesn't matter. Okay. How about here? No, I I really don't get it. I don't. This is why I. I'll admit I haven't gone through every single thing in this game with a fine tooth, uh, fine, fine comb. It's just I do not remember. Uh, I don't remember this mechanic being this annoying just because I'm like, okay, what activates you? Like, seriously. Okay, that activates him. So, like I said, I don't. I don't want to do that till we finish off the bosses. Okay, I mean, technically, I could probably do it now and be fine because I've finished off most of the guys and it'll, it'll save us some time. But I kind of want to give myself a few more, uh, just like one more turn to like set up. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. It was, it was getting frustrating for having to reload it multiple times. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll... Well, I wasn't ready to end the turn, though, so I was still want to move, guys. Yeah, I said I wanted to basically get, get to this guy first, and that way I could set up everyone for the boss. Because uh, I wanted to do the whole grenade the crap out of them type of situation to get experience from our long range users. So, uh, let's see, we hit here, he activated here. here? I, I, okay. I'll just have him go around then. If it really comes down to it, so. I said I want to. I want to build everyone up to go after the boss at the same time. I could. I could just wait. I guess. And like wait for everyone to just charge into me. That will be easier to kind of manipulate my guys because they'll charge into this group here if I if I move this way. Like I said I wasn't really ready to move everyone like that. Yeah, I don't know why moving in a certain position activates them. That doesn't make sense. I was actually able to do this one time. I was able to get, like, when I play tested this, I was able to move everyone basically. Um... I almost finished him off. But I was actually able to get him to not activate it for quite a long time, but now all of a sudden, it, it's uh, every, every other action now it gets him a, a reaction from him. I thought maybe it was an enemies thing, like if certain enemies are there, but the thing is he's still doing it anyway, so. Yeah, you know, kind of a, I kinda of want everyone here to be able to fight the um, the mobile unit guy, so. Maybe if I could uh, go in there maybe. Let's try this. Okay, I have some things I can move into. But I don't know what what constitutes a uh, I could save a, a good move spot, you know what I mean? Actually, I probably shouldn't be. Oh, wait, huh? Oh, I guess I moved too far. Huh. Okay, I guess they're gonna move eventually anyway. Because didn't I not activate them that time? 
Actually, I probably shouldn't have Griff run that far away now that, now that I think about it, because he, he, I actually gave him the machine gun ammo for um, uh, Ash, so Ash could get all those uh, honor kills. So, okay, let me reload it so that, that way Griff isn't that far. If, if we're gonna get attacked eventually anyway, I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, move move him in a more advantageous position, which is with a group instead. Okay, we'll just we'll just activate whoever gets activated. We're just gonna do it. Yeah, I guess I activated him, or maybe I reloaded it after he talked or, or I saved it or something like that. So. At least this game's pretty fast when it comes to moving characters around, at least, so. Yeah, at least that guy doesn't move till everyone gets there, but I need to surround him so I can tank as a uh, AP. Okay. Let's see. Now let's have, uh... Man, I might as well just get everyone grouped together. This actually isn't a very good spot anyway, because it doesn't have very much very much protection. So I know if I move too far, then it'll uh, yeah. Like this whole area is like a forty-five percent like protection, so might as well just keep everyone kind of in the general area here, and they'll just they'll come to us. So they will come to us. Pretty, pretty efficiently towards me, so. Yeah, as soon as I get, as soon as I get Surrender's Call, I'll, I won't give Ash as much levels, depending on how many levels he gets, because he'll, he'll go too overboard, and then it'll be hard for me to, like, utilize him for some things, like in the arena, because Ash has got the most honor points, so it's easier for him to get a... Okay, let's see. I'm trying to remember when this guy starts moving. It's pretty, when you get pretty close to him, he starts, he starts moving, so. It might actually be this round because I moved, moved how I did, so. protection 45 oops although I'll probably just leave them here just for the for that group yeah. why are you running out so far ahead that'd be that'd be kind of silly in real life Yeah, it's easier, it's better to split people off because then that way we're not taking like an hour spinning on like one dude because I don't want to split my forces. You can, it, you ha we have enough groups on both sides to, uh, uh, to basically. Okay. Hmm. I didn't think I was close enough for him to activate yet. I mean, I know his range is to hit there, but you know. Okay, well I'll have to heal your legs because uh, otherwise you're basically worthless. So. Uh, I'm just trying to think I want to attack this turn. I think I'll just get everyone in line and then start uh, trying to tank his AP. Spot, so. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is why this this battle overall is not a very good spot for uh, uh, grenade farming for your uh, for AP or for uh, exploring. Just because of just splitting everything up and ever one around is just a little bit too annoying. So, and also making sure not to. Uh, Obviously, make sure no one gets killed, by the way. So. Yeah, I got three AP, which means you can still do a counterattack, unfortunately. So. so slow. That guy wants to get Ash. Ash wants a piece of him, although he's going to get a lot of experience. Those guys only have two spots, though. It's better for Ash to attack, like, bon actual regular Bonzers instead of uh, the big mechs, because they have four four pieces. So, all right, we tanked his AP. Now we can go after him without too much worry, so. Okay, let's uh, start whittling him down. Yeah, ooh, we get final break. Final break. So the, what that is is it adds 50% of current HP's arm to attack power, and then if it hits, it destroys the arm. Um, it says both arms, but uh, but uh, or I, you can have one. Or, uh, sorry, it means if you have one or both, one or both arms on that one. Anyway, arm is destroyed if it does it. So it does a lot of damage. It's like charge, except you lose the arm. So I prefer charge. At least charge doesn't destroy it. You can heal that. Well, actually, you can restore the arm too. So. But that's I'll probably use that one just because of how effective it is. But uh, yeah, as long as you get restores, but still. All right, who's got the? See, Amiya's got 21 experience, and Sayuri has 20 experience, so she should probably get the. Yeah, I thought you'd do a multi attack, but all right, that's fine. All right. <laughs> All right, you're good. Oh, you no, know, you're going after Thomas. Never mind. I thought it was a uh, thought. I thought Ash was there for some reason. No, no, no. So not in front of everyone's attacks. Pick up the tanks. Oh, I didn't think he had enough movement. Seriously? Hit me with every shot? Huh? Then again, those spots aren't very well protected, so... There goes Rip's arm. I'll have to restore it with the... Uh, uh, Seriously, both hit at 45% Geo. Yeah, unfortunately, I think the game cheats. Well, if I miss those shots, I guess I can't really complain too much. The problem with fighting this guy is you'll probably get a... He, because the point is, we're supposed to surround this guy, but the thing is, he's got way too many guys on him. So I might have to... Uh, Either back off or something. Yeah, most of the protections here are not very good. Look at that, ten percent stuff like that. So I did better with this group. So all right. Thomas over there. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I still I can't believe I got hit a couple times on the 45% there. So. Uh, 
that's not very good spot. Oh, he's in a 40%. Boo! Alright. Ow. Well, that was bad. That was a bad, that was a bad call there. Should have hit him with a grenade or something like that. I don't know why I did that. That was a, that was a bad move on my part. Okay, let's, uh... Of course, they're probably going to miss just because of all the, uh, the, uh, protection they've got. Look at that. Wait, there's a 55%? Oh, that's right there, huh? Huh. The best, I think that's the best one in the game right there, so... Oh, he got first, yet he didn't go first. Weird. There we go. I right, got dead angle. And I got some protection if I go back here at least, so. That might be one way to do it to survive. It's just to pull them out here or as far as I can. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try doing that. Yeah, that's Sorry, not very good protection spots. Look at that. Ew, gross. Hey, we can actually block tank attacks. Surprise. Surprise, surprise. Surprised! It's me, Eddie! Anyway. Actually, him being there is actually really, really bad because I can't surround him, so. There are legs again. Oh yeah, by the way, that, I think that circle round is supposed to be one of his honor skills, if I remember correctly, his surprise ability. But, uh, yeah. I'll go over that eventually, but not right, it, right now it's not that big of a deal, so, alright. Let's, uh, yeah, uh, that sucks, I she lost her legs. It's really not. <laughs> Try to give her some protection, at least, if anything, so. And... Yeah, we'll just have you. No. Don't block those attacks. Thank you. Well, you did block that attack. Though. Oh, see? Okay, I don't think I've ever gone over this before, but there's a glitch in the game where even if you bluff an enemy's shields, they still uh, block the attacks, even though they shouldn't be able to do that. It's, yeah, it's it's unfair. Like, there's, and there's nothing you can do about it. Sometimes the game just blocks the attacks. So... I almost want to reload it just to see if I can get it not to do that. Because, yeah, that that is the game basically cheating you. So. When it does that. So. If, if, that's, if that's worthy of a reset, I think, first of all. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I'll just have to... 
Either that or maybe the spot where I can heal you or something like that, so. What weapons do you have left? I still have missiles and everything like that, so. I was thinking about maybe hitting, hitting her with the hitting her with the tom tit instead, so. AP though, because sometimes you can uh, reduce their AP by making them evade attacks too. So, yeah, you're almost, you're almost. There you go. I have to put Whalen out there instead, maybe, or at least Whalen to. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Got restore, so mm. yeah, I guess I'll save it. All right, let's finish. Try to finish you off. So we could get him at least 113 for this battle, which means next battle I'll have to get quite a few be uh, honor as well for him, because that'd be one uh, yeah 113. So that means 27 more honor. I just hate giving him all the experience though. How much how much ammo do you have? You have quite a bit, don't you? Yeah, at least your big miss your missiles anyway. Then your cannon does more damage though. But you had to get closer to that, so you're gonna just waste your. I wonder if I can weaken him without without destroying any of his arm pieces. Just a good experience for her. He's uh, got missiles, he just can't hit the guy where he's at, though. I'm actually surprised I hit him where, where I was at, so. Yeah, he's at a 50 right there. There's no there's no way I'm gonna, like. Actually, I might just move him here. One of the few times I actually didn't want Griff to destroy someone. That's that's kind of sad. Now, unfortunately, I had to reload this because I didn't I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to get the the, the finish the honor for that. So. Wouldn't it be sad if I end up getting a worse result because of that? That would be sad. I will just stay there. Ow. Better than that, I guess. That was actually a worse result. But I'm not. I'm not gonna reload. Well, unless, uh, unless you kill Rocky, then I would reload. But I'm not gonna reload just for that. Okay. Yeah, that's better than better than nothing. So okay. I just have to finish him off because I don't want to, you know. God, this is a terrible position for, for protection, though. Look at that. Okay. 
Okay, the one time she doesn't get she doesn't get like all her abilities activate. Yeah, it's like 20 20 percent, 21 percent. You're like, really? No, no good protection on this place at all. It's out in the open. Okay, that's yeah, that's not. I don't I don't want that. <laughs> I actually kind of want you to destroy that tank, so that way I don't have to mess with you. There we go. I need you to move. That's the problem. You're too close, or you're in a good, too good of a position. Okay, well you're only twenty percent, but the thing is, I can't, I can't tank your AP though where you're at. Although you don't restore your full AP when you're when you're surrounded by people, so we can't eventually tank it. It's just it's not a very good spot. Yeah, let's look at the protection spots while we're here. get the sniper skill sniper the first attack always hits the body of attacking with a rifle I'm not using rifles but so yeah all right you should be out of missiles now now you're just gonna be using your can oh I thought you oh that's right you didn't you didn't hit like multi-attack or anything with that so uh well I'm just gonna move you out of the way I don't want or at least get you in a better better position that's higher protection than what we've got you know yeah, 50 is really the best I'm going to do on that, so. Might go and re refill your, uh. Refill your mach machine gun there, so. Oh, he's out of. Oh, we're out of missiles, okay. So 50% means hit with all attacks. Gotcha. Yeah, seriously, I got hit with all those attacks. Yeah, he's in a 50% like protection spot. So, you know. And let's Let's save and restore that that arm, shall we? But he'll probably go after after me though. Yeah. See if I can destroy that. Uh... Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, I'll have to use grenades on him or something. Oh, close. to get some experience from, so that should might uh just end the turn. Fifty percent means three hits out of uh two hits out of three. Cool. At least he can't heal himself, so Uh, 
I moved him away. Mm. Well, he can, uh, he's in 45% spot too. And yeah, we can take that damage. Nope. I need to finish him off. So, mainly because uh, I need to take advantage of as much experience as I've got. So, whoops. I think I saved. I rolled it in the wrong spot. No, that, that's the right spot. Never mind. Was... Yeah, there okay. go. Now you're dodging every time. What the heck? Because that, that, that one shot will finish him, right? Let's see, let me double check. Actually, well, I could have... Um... And also, another reason why this map isn't very good for uh, for everything is because uh, the high high protections. So you're probably most likely going to miss with like missiles and stuff like that. So that's why I didn't want to use grenades for experience in this level. It's just really hard to get experience. There we go. Got him. Okay. Fortunately, let's see. I'd have to like go all the way around just to tank his AP. <laughs> I'll see if I can do it, but. Eh, let's see. You. Yeah, let's have Ash. Ash these guys off for some honor. Oh, he's in only a 25% spot, though. Hmm. That might be a good that might be a good chance for me to start start wailing on him. Let's see, what's your do you have any misses left? Maybe if he if he if he defeats Thomas, it's not that big of a deal. Save that in a different spot that I just did, so that way I can see if I can hit him with the. Uh, I could try him with the Tom Tit. Since I've got. I still got cannon ammo, so. Might as well try to block. Ugh, you're getting really close to being being finished, so. Try to get all the way over there just to... Yeah, so trying to get those last little bits of uh, honor kills for uh, my friend there. got right now. One, that'll be 117. I could get 119, which means all I'd have to do is get 21 more honor kills, which that wouldn't be too bad. If I finish off this guy with Ash, I'm just trying not to just tank his, uh, get his HP uh, levels up too high. Mm. Well, let's see if we can weaken him with like, uh, oh, you out of a uh, That would hit Thomas, though. I mean, usually I'd hit him, Thomas, but I don't want to do it in this case, so. Yeah, I can't really tank his, tank his AP there. That's the only problem, so. Might just have Thomas run away, maybe. Look at that. Trying to go all the way around just to get his AP tanked. Let's have, let's have Thomas run away. Or try to, anyway. Actually, maybe I should just have people run away just so I can actually have Ash finish him off. Well, like I said, if he gets beat, that's, that's fine. That's not a big deal.
I need to start weakening that guy because uh, I was trying to get like basically I was trying to get Malin over there. So, but unfortunately, oh, did I not move the right way? Ah, I can't. No, I can't move there. Where is? I thought there was a spot there I could move. Oh, he just can't win it through the side there. Ah, oh, dang it. Alright. Uh, let's... I mean, I don't mind losing a character because... Um... Because I don't need the money, so... Have I done any damage to him yet? Not really. I should probably weaken it with someone. At least if you're gonna get if you're gonna get finished off, might as well. Cause I need to be able to actually finish him off when it comes down to it. Stick him there. I forgot I was out of Tom, Tom Tit. And we're. I was trying to think where the last save was. There we go. Okay. I actually didn't want to finish him off yet. I just wanted to be able to basically go, hey, I can. Uh, Like, hey, I can actually beat him when, it, when when we actually were ready to finish him off. You know, that type of thing. Yeah, it's because you're panicked, so. Probably gonna chase after uh, Thomas now that I moved him there, but oh well, whatever. Not if I can tank his AP a little bit, which means he can't move as far. So. Okay, I think this might be the turn because Ash will go in there and finish him off. So, okay. Yeah, sorry, it was a little bit of a long battle, but like I said, it, it's uh, it's a min-max my guy and take advantage of other other abilities and things. So, okay, just get to. I try to toggle through the enemies as efficiently as possible, but there we go. All right, we get find out, find out. The enemy's first attack always misses, so that can be kind of nice. But like I said, with machine guns, I kind of want to just work on I want to work on them to get as many bullets out as I can so did you already use up all your uh, grenades you did well it's probably too late for this now but it only costs 10 to do it. grenades I was actually about to well now that we can know we can beat them I can actually just hit myself with the uh, with grenades now to get the experience, so. I, I ended up killing Rocky. <laughs> uh, and unfortunately there's no enemies here, so I can't uh, I can't do that here with these guys. But I gave, uh, they gave her 100 experience, so. Ah, uh, unfortunately. I've got no choice but to, time to bail out of my bonds here. No, you don't see her get that pained expression too often, so. I thought I wait. Did I not? Uh... Oh, it's because I dodged the attack. So it. Uh... No valid enemies. Oh, it's because yeah, I, I I dodged in that attack basically screwed up my. Uh... Yeah, we're just gonna drop with her. 
All right. The mobile weapons. The mobile weapons all gone. Let's head downtown. How's the chase going? With the chain of command down, we should be okay now. But the units in the city may be on their way. We have to hurry. Well, we should be fine. Let's go then. All right. Yeah, it could have been a bit more efficient of a fight, but I was trying to min-max, so. Yeah, it wasn't for the money. Not uh, any reason. Seriously, I've got way too much money now. Like, from going for the arena, just trying to um, get the unlock those weapons. So I've got plenty of money. So, seems like we lost them. Yeah, let's get something here quickly. All right, will we be able to uh, get out of here quickly? Are we stuck on this, uh, the capital of Dhaka and with nowhere to go? And can we get to Ramian base? Find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission 2 Remake. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.